Hi fiends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 495 in Best Fiends. This is called Slime Square, with the goals of opening 6 crates and collecting 125 purple. So, we're going to need Brittle. Now we've also been given Gordon and Temper. Blue and Yellow are out, which is good because that concentrates the rest of these on the board. But there are two things I'm not thrilled with. I'm not sure about these fiends. Why do we need to grab these fiends in particular? Well, Brittle, of course, we need. No question. But Gordon and Temper, because they do horizontal. However, if we do Moose, Moose could try to make an impact this way. I like Moose more. And instead of Temper, I like the Area Bomb. I like Lapoleon. I'm going to change these. So, uh, and then the other thing I'm going to change is this setup because I don't particularly care for it. Although I only have two purple on the board, so that means everything else is a little bit closer to being bunched together. But I'm just going to see if I can get more than one, two, three, four, five, six cleared out. Especially because I want to take out these crates manually if I can. I'm not too worried about the ticking time bombs. They just send out slug sludge. It's a, a problem. But the biggest problem is I have much less than half of a board to work with, at least in the beginning. So I want to give myself every advantage. I'll pause the recording, meet you back with a new board, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, I like the way this is set up. I like streaming this right along here. And then I still have a lot of purple left over. Look at that. We open this up. That looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to try to grab as much purple as possible, get Brittle, Brittle's converter filled as quickly as I can. But now I'm hoping, and there we go, I get more red to put together. So I'm going to try to vary, you know, which guy I'm using, because hopefully then when I take out one color, the next color will kind of bunch together. And I've opened up some of these ticking time bombs. Even though I'm not too worried about them, that doesn't mean I want them to explode at me. This looks pretty dang good right here. Oh, so close. Oh, so close. That's all right. We'll get it next time round. This one isn't as close. This isn't really great. I could take out a little bit there. I could take out a little bit here. I actually kind of like that. I want to see what slides in this way. Oh, a lot more purple. What if I do this? That gets me a converter, and it still leaves purple over here to try to help match up with this. But I don't like where this is positioned. I always want to bring it lower. I know these guys are probably going to blow up and explode at me and everything, and having a hard time caring much about that. Look at this. Is that going to get me another converter? Can I make this work? Nope, because I have such a limited part of the board, right? But the more of these I take out, the more likely I'll be able to make those long runs work better. I could take one of these out. I think I'm just going to let it slime the board. Can I get a converter this way? I can. And I can open crates. And now, yeah, I see you over there. And now if I do this, hello, missed one. I can work on getting a bomb. Oh, so close. But I'm also bringing this converter down. That looks like a good spot to put that. Yeah, I can collect a lot this way. Not everything I want. I've got some ends that are not coming together for me. But I can still do a lot. I'm going to leave the one in the corner there. Reach over to here and open things up. So this got stopped halfway and covered with slime, but I uncovered it again. All right. Should I try to get a red bomb? Look at this. There. I'm going to go for that. I do need to get to these crates, and I probably do need a bomb to get to those crates. And now I can get a converter and reposition the bomb and try to get more red together. All right, and look at this. I can do this. That hits that crate that's way up there and hard to access, and it brings the converter down. And I have another bomb. Okay, this is going fairly well, so I have to keep up the momentum. Try to make some good choices here. I'm not hitting a lot of those crates. I'm not taking this out all the way, but remember I've got this bomb. Now this is covered in slug sludge, and I have to hit the 
I have to use the bomb once to, you know, unsheathe it, and then another time to completely crack it open because of those ticking time bombs I didn't deal with. I could do this. I could do this. I'm trying to see. This almost gets me the converter. So this isn't spectacular. Let's see if I can approach it a different way. What if I do this? This does get me the converter, and it hits two crates. It'll unslime this one, and it'll open this one. That works well. All right, there's my converter. I need to bring it together. Unfortunately, I'll probably have to take out purple to bring it together. I don't really have any other options there. But that helps to fill that converter meter up a little more. Ah, oh, that was awful. Well, we're going to do that. Wow. Talk about rude. All right, come on. Now this will definitely get put together with more purple. I've got to get to this crate, this crate, and I need 24 purple. This crate is a little bit disconcerting to me, so guess what? I'm going to gain access to it. There we go. Oh, I really gained access to it. I would need to put the red here to get both of these. I don't have red here. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm actually going to convert a lot of red into purple and just wait and see what happens after I get this part of my job done. That's probably 24 or close to it. Ah, oh, not quite. And now I've got this, and now, again, I need it here to get it to work. It doesn't work. Um, I'm a little bit worried. Nope, not going to go that route. That's not a good route. I think I'm coming up this way, coming along here. And hoping and praying we get red in this spot. Look at that. Wow. Okay, it worked. Uh, it was a little sloppy, I admit. But in the end, we got there. So I'm going to take it as a win. All right, that's how I beat that one. And I should get, yep, all of my carrots. So let's see what we can do. going to open things up. Wow, lots of blue meteor mites. You know, I love those, she says facetiously. I get to claim my Liberty Regatta. We grew up BB Slug Alley, so we get six keys. And we're going to continue uh, with the painting roses. We get to go to the painting roses now. And then once we win the painting roses, we get to go back to the Liberty Regatta just kind of flip flop back and forth unless you pay money to get extra things and then Thor's hammer oh we need to get one more progress mark there I thought I was just about ready to get that done so that's it for me if this was helpful I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing if you have any questions or comments please put those below and as always thank you so much for watching bye bye